this shade as a base as a, as an eyeshadow base for my lid so i'll be applying that to my eye and in a back and forth motion i basically just want to set my eye eyelid and I will also be doing the same thing for my second eyelid. This is a very simple cut crease eyeshadow tutorial and it's fully detailed. So I hope you guys have fun and going in with this. I'll also be applying that to my eyelid. Going in a back and forth motion, back and forth motion, then I'll also be doing the same thing for my second eyelid. Also in a back and forth motion. And now this shade will I'll apply that to my crease to give the more in-depth crease to really more, so my crease will show more. It's like my eyes is kind of swollen so I do I sometimes find it really hard to find my crease so I this eyeshadow shade helps me to easily find my crease. Then now I'll be going in with that shade and also applying it to deepen the crease. doing the same thing for the second eyelid as you can see my crease is starting to show because of the eyeshadow that has been applied on it then now I'm going in with that purple shade to give it a more deeper crease I'll be applying that only to my crease also in a back and forth motion as you can see this baby is already coming out, the crease already showing more. So that's basically the need for that high shadow for that for those shades I use. I wanted my crease to show more. And now for the cut crease I'm going in with the pro conceal in the medium disc and I'll just use that to cut my crease. I apologize because like I was kind of like in a hurry when I was doing this video I needed to get to be somewhere so I just like just I had to just think of something and just come up with something and just like just do this so as you can see I'm basically just drawing on my crease I was actually thinking of doing a wind cup crease but like I was struggling so yeah I just rest learn to focus more on the inner corner of your crease and to focus on the cutting of your crease then I'm also cutting with my second crease Cut crease takes time it takes practice you can you you will never get it in a day takes time and practice you have to learn to be patient with the brushes be patient with the concealer so so that will look like and now I'll just be darting off the excess concealer the reason for that not this excess concealer is so that when I apply this shade of eyeshadow on it it will stick Excess concealer makes your eyeshadow look cakey and it doesn't last long when it has excess concealer in it. When you have too much concealer on your crease, when you apply your eyeshadow, it starts to like break. So that's actually the usefulness of removing excess concealer when you're through with cutting your crease. So like I'm doing, I'm also applying that same eyeshadow on my second eye. Like I said earlier, guys, 
I was in a hurry. I just, I'm pretty sure my message was passed. But, and I'm also doing the same thing for the second eye, as you can see. It's pretty easy. Then now I'm just blending out the edges of the crease in and out. I'm also doing the same thing for the second eye, in and out. Yes, you can also recreate this look if you want to and now I plan some false lashes on and yeah this is how it looks like you guys can apply eyeliner but I'm not really much of a fan of eyeliners so I prefer my eyeshadow like this so thank you guys for watching my video see you in my next video love you all so much